Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're going to take a look, a deep look, to a recent release, a fantastic album that just came out from who? One of the most famous bands of the 70s and onwards. Who am I talking about? Who am I talking about? Who? Exactly. This album just came out a few days ago. I think it's incredible. I got the special analog package. I have different kind of versions. We're gonna compare them and see what comes out of this. Okay, ready guys? Let's get to it. Okay guys, so since this is a fabulous album from The Who, which got finally got together after since the last album that came out in 2006, 13 years. And I must admit that the Sonics, the songs really resemble their work in the 70s. So if you like the Who or you don't know who, who they are, I suggest to start from this and then go and get Tommy, go and get Quadrophenia, go and get Live at Leeds, go and get all the, the, the famous ones of the 70s. But this one, for you guys that already know the, the band, it's a fantastic album that really is faithful to their sound. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you the different issues. I got a special packet, packet directly from their website. First of all, we have this amazing, beautiful gatefold album from them, which has... I found this only on their shop. I don't know if it's out and about on, on the, uh, Amazon or other places, but I'll put some links. As you can see, it's a double LP with different colors. You have this nice blue here. Um, the in interesting factor here is that this uh, vinyl release, I discovered it only once I put it on my flatter, is that it is in 45 RPM. And in fact, the, the, the dynamics are fabulous. Uh, obviously, you can find just a normal release with one LP, black traditional LP, all over wherever you want on the web. So, as I was saying, we have this. Here we have another vinyl. This time it is white, white color. You know, these are their colors, blue, white, yellow, etc. Very nice release. Plus, there's also a special EP. We could say Red, which has, uh, I think, one or two songs. I just listened to it once. It's hard to, to take it out. In any case, you can see, as you can see, it is red and it's um, engraved, recorded only on one side because it is, is a special edition of this vinyl, record of this album. Together with the package, what came out and about? Well, we have, obviously, as you can imagine, the CD, which is the uh, special edition of the CDs because it has three extra songs, which is cool. That's why I also I wanted to have this. Plus, we also have, yes, the cassette which is recorded, as you can see, with Dolby. They're doing things, I must admit, pretty nicely. Very nice package. As you can see, typical features of the 70s. The, the look is a cassette from the 70s. It was recorded in Dolby, Dolby B. And even the, the J card is nice, nicely printed. I mean, the details, really, it really feels like a cassette. <clears throat> the only problem is that I had some problems with the, the transport, with the, the tape itself. I mean, I had to send it backwards, fast forward it a few times until it got a little bit loose. I don't know why. In any case, in the end, everything went well. So we are able now to do a comparison between these three important formats. As you can see, a few digital, a few analog, plus... Um, well, we're going to start out, actually, with the high-resolution version that I downloaded. It's going to be part of this test. And actually, it's 
uh, the, the, the benchmark, the starting point for all the rest, because that is probably, since it's a 96 kilohertz sampling rate by 24 bits, it's probably the master. The master was probably that type of file, a, a WAV file. Plus, I also put, recorded that file, just to have fun, on a metal cassette, a Type 4 cassette. Very high quality, recorded on an Akamichi Dragon. So we can have a, a nice comparison with the normal pre-recorded, but in general, it will be interesting also to compare it with the a high resolution file itself and with the rest, as you can imagine, the CD in the vinyl. Great, let's start. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start with the high resolution file and we're gonna listen to the first song entitled All This Music Must Fade which I think it's an excellent track. It really gives you that energy that anticipates all the rest of the album. And let's see what happens. Let's hear it. I don't care. Okay, now this is the top of the tops, as you can imagine, in terms of resolution. Obviously, all these versions are coming from a digital file. That, that's why it's also interesting and important, I think. I already did a video on something similar on a release from an Italian band called Calibro 35. Here's a link. Take a look at that. That was also interesting. Let's turn back to our Who album. And... um. As we can see, let's take a look at the sound wave. Okay, now, as you can see, we have a nice and soft curve going all the way down to 40,000 hertz, which means that there's no cut at 22, uh, as we could expect, for example. Maybe they used high quality microphones. Maybe it's just noise. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't seem noise because as you can see, the curve is very soft. It's very nice. Um, Plus, unfortunately though, if we take a look at the file itself, let's take a look at the pic uh, picture, we can see that it is kind of bricked. The, 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 they compressed and unfortunately added a limiter on the, uh, on the higher, on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the peaks of the dynamics, which gives this strong volume, unfortunately, loudness war, loudness war, but it is, it is also giving this very strong, sometimes a little too boomy, I would say, uh, result. The, the volume does, uh, does appear to be compressed, even though it's, it's high res. You can, you can sense that. But okay, this is the first step. Let's proceed now. This time we're going to take a look at the weaker, we could say, version of this, the CD, which obviously has its limitations. Let's listen and take a look after the uh, sound wave. I don't care. Okay, so, CD version. Not bad. Uh, here I, can, I think it's clear that the high resolution version is better. 
I discovered that YouTube does not compress high resolution audio, so you can have a good comparison. But I want to add, I forgot to say this before, but I always do this actually. I put in download here in the video description all the versions, all the high resolution versions and normal versions. This time I put the native file of the CD and the high resolution version I downloaded, I bought from Koboos. So what you find is actually what they are selling, what, they, what was produced by the manufacturers. I did not recapture it from analog, okay guys? That's why you're gonna see the, the sound all bricked up, unfortunately. In any case, let's take a look at the sound wave of the CD. And as you can see, as expected, at 22 hertz, kilohertz, more or less, we have this abrupt cut down. We imagine this. Unfortunately, that's what happens to CD. That's why we like more high resolution audio, especially if we're using high resolution microphones, which maybe they were, they were used here. I think they, they were. Okay, let's proceed now. Let's go and take a look at the first version, the pre-recorded version of the cassette. Go. I don't care. I know you're gonna hate this song. But that said, we never really got along. It's not new, not diverse. It won't light up your parade. It's just simple verse. All its music will. Okay, so let's take a look at the sound wave. Now, interestingly, as you can see here, the uh, sound wave is very soft and it goes, it doesn't reach 40,000 kilohertz, but it does have this soft profile going all the way down almost to that, um, to that frequency response. So I'm thinking that to record here, also, obviously there's also a lot of noise in there, but they use the high resolution file, I think. That's what, what's happening, not the, the, the reduced file from the CD. That's very strange, but I guess that with, a, uh, with the, the proper level and calibration and Dolby B, they were able to, to do that. Okay, so now I want to take a look also at the other cassette. Since we're here, we're talking about the cassettes. Let's take a look at the Type 4 cassette. First, I want to show you that I'm opening it for you, brand new cassette, and then we'll take a look at, we're going to hear and then take a look at the sound wave. Go for it. Okay, guys, so for the occasion, I'm going to open the Studio 4 by Manix. This is a metal tape, and it should be pretty good. As you can see, this is sealed, so we're going to open it now on camera. Let's see, here we go. Here we go. As you can see, brand new metal cassette studio four by magnets. Which is, this was I saw this is made in Italy. So it should be pretty good. It is actually a type four, so yeah. We have a nice black oxide. Should be good. Let's test it. I don't care. I know you're gonna hate this song. But that said, we never really got along. It's not new, not diverse. It won't light up your parade. It's just simple verse. All its music will. So, as you can see, as I told you before, I recorded on this the high resolution version of the album, the first song, the first track. Here you can see the sound wave, which is very similar 
actually, as you can imagine, it's the most similar to the high resolution sound wave among the different formats we have seen up until now. Although the pre-recorded the pre-recorded sound wave was uh, what the spectrum was pretty good, I must say. Obviously, this was practically almost identical, reaching all the way up to 40,000 kilohertz. Obviously, there's a lot of noise in there, but it does seem to reproduce those frequencies. It is a Type 4 metal cassette, guys. I mean, it can do that. And I recorded this without anything, no noise reduction, just pure and simple there on the Nakamichi Dragon. Okay, now let's take a look at our last friend to the vinyl record and let's see the results. I don't care I know you're gonna hate this song But that's it We never really got along It's not new, not diverse It won't light up your parade It's just simple verse All this music will Okay, so, for me, I must admit, I don't know why, but the sound coming from this 45 RPM vinyl is the best among all of these. Even better than the high resolution version. Uh, I don't know why, maybe it was mastered, expressly, carefully dedicated to, for the, this medium, for the vinyl. It could be, I hope, that's how things should be done. And the results are more accurate, are more fresh, are more dynamic. If we take a look now here at the sound wave, the spectrum, we can see that there is some noise in the higher frequencies, but we can still identify that, um, that nice soft curve going all the way down almost to 40,000. Although it does, well, I don't know, it is strange because it is, as you can see, there is a little steep, a steepness, a little sharp going down towards 22. So I don't know what's going here. I, it, 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 does, it does seem that you're, they're using a file similar to this one, but I'm not sure. Nevertheless, I don't know why, even though the results seem poor, not that good actually, to my ears, I must admit that this was my favorite even more than the cassette and the, the, the ver high resolution version uh, reversed recorded on the metal cassette. This was the best of the best for me. Okay guys, so you tell me now. If you want, you can download the, all the, these versions and listen to, for yourself on your, on your system. Obviously they're all digital. Uh, this is the closest way I can share with you, but if you trust me, I'm expressing my opinion Obviously not on the digital files that I'm putting online, obviously, but I'm expressing my opinion on here after hearing all these versions on my system in their natural format, their original format. And I must say, again, I want to repeat this, that the, the record, the 45 RPM vinyl version is the best of the best for me. But I want to know what you think. Okay, guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And remember, music is born. Ciao. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.